Hello folks, my name's Alan. I'm just going to give you a few tips on my Plexamid tent, um, which I've owned for over a year now. And I've used it on uh, a couple of long trips, uh, week long ones and uh, a seven week long trip over the Pyrenees. So I've had plenty of chance to try it out in various conditions. Um, you can see it here set up how I prefer it for, for windy conditions. It's um, closer to the ground. If you are used to your Plexamid, you will know that it uh, can get a bit breezy at times. It can be quite high off the ground if you use the pole at the recommended 120 centimetres. Um, this is set at the moment at 110 centimetres and I've brought the whole thing slightly down so that the wind can't get underneath it, uh, which is one of the things it, it tends to be a bit uh, prone to uh, suffer from, uh, especially if you pitch it face to the wind, which is always wrong with a tent anyway, but if the wind can get under that front it will start lifting up. And I did have one night in the Pyrenees where strong winds uh, turned direction from behind to in front, blowing right the way up a valley, um, and it was flapping all over the place. Um, it, it stood up, it, it lasted, um, but there are a few little um, effects it had. It did sort of rub the material a little bit and a little bit of tape eventually got a bit worn away but uh, that, that can be replaced. It's not a problem. Anyway you can see that it's quite low to the ground around the back and I've used these Swiss piranha pegs. They're not... I've not used them in the field before um, but they um, apparently are supposed to hold very well so I'm going to try them out this year. And um, I've pitched it quite close to the tent with the guys short. so that I can bring it down to the ground and still maintain a fairly taut pitch. Now what you can also see is that these pull-out guys I've actually left quite long, as long as possible. That gives more room inside the tent, stops it again flapping about. The other thing you can do to uh, give yourself a bit more headroom is you can use one of your poles, the other pole, and uh, either use the uh, hand loop, if I've taken mine off, a bit of string perhaps instead, and thread this through through that, and uh, that will just lift that up a bit more. But as you can see, this, if you extend the guy out, as I've done here, you don't get a lot more from lifting the pole up, because all it does is it, it pulls the side in as you pull it up. So. So I find that just extending the guy line out is, is enough really. Keeps it comfortable. The wind can't get underneath so much here because they're short. Short guys on the main pitch points. Um, so the front one's particularly short. The back two corners a little bit longer just to give it a bit, a bit of a chance to stretch the uh, bottom edge of the material out. So that's, that's how I uh, like it for windy conditions and the wind can't get underneath it, it's quite firm, it's a strong tent. One other little mod that I've done um, that I'm going to try out, I've only just done it, is I've, it tends to get a lot of condensation in this tent and unlike some other tents like the Aeon, Lee, the, um, they have a, a little vent up here um, and so what I've done is I've actually just used a bit of foam to pad it out and then I've stuck a bit of velcro, the softer bit in there so that it doesn't wear at the tent and the teeth end of it on stuck on here and uh, what I've got to do when I want a bit of air and I pitch it is that and it gives a gap. So hope that's useful. One other thing I find with it is when I want to keep this front end of the tent low to the ground, um, having this and this on the same pitch point is not the best idea um, because it pulls the whole thing out. 
you need this guy fairly um, fa a fair way out because the, uh, there's a lot of strain on that particular peg because that's the only one really supporting the front of the tent. These two aren't doing anything much. Um, so, but also you want to be able to pull this down to the ground a bit more and then you can stretch those ones out sideways a bit further, the end ones, to keep this reasonably taut. So I use an extra peg just to pull this line in further and, and get that um, door point closer to the tent itself. It does mean an extra peg and unfortunately the Plexamid has um, 10 pegs normally um, and that makes an 11th. So it's, uh, but it does give you lots of flexibility in, in uh, pitching options. I hope that's uh, been useful to some of you and uh, happy camping!